Howdy folks, it's Dalton here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we are back with another VFR flight. Not a bush trip, not a tube liner, but VFR, which is what I normally do on the channel, even though it's been a couple years catching up with bush trips. GA, VFR, that's what we do. If you have a subscriber request, if you want something you want me to do, put it in the comments below and I'll fly it. I will do IFR flights as long as they're under an hour and a half flight time. Um... But normally I just do this stuff. I also wanted to crank up the ambient sound for you in the background. And hopefully you can still hear my voice as I cranked up the sim sound. But there's all this ambient sound. Let's just listen to it for a moment. In fact, if I move around, I think you might hear it. That's so cool. As the different cars drive by and stuff. And if we had any airplane activity, we would hear that. But anyway, I'll bring the sound back down to a level that you can hear me better. Here we go. So, I rambled way too much in the previous video. Um, sorry, not sorry, but <laughs> I want to do less rambling and more to the point. So we have a few things to look at today. We're going to check out Key West, kind of, as a VFR, as we come and go from the airport. Um, and I thought of this area because we were supposed to go here as a family trip this summer. And we didn't make it for lots of reasons I won't get into. We were also going to go to Hallover Beach in Miami, which I might do a Hallover VFR. Um, maybe. Depends how I feel about that because of what is there and the reason for going. We didn't make it there either. Uh, we're still supposed to go to Mexico later this year. Whatever. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. But anyway, that's how I came up with checking this place out, was we were supposed to go here. So we're going to fly that direction, though, west over the ocean, because there are two things I want to check out. There's Fort Jefferson, which is supposed to be a POI in the sim, which means they've customized it and dropped it in the sim, and also means it looks cartoonish, so it should be easy to spot, and that is at Dry Tortugas National Park. And if we keep going, we're going to get to the Loggerhead Lighthouse, see if that's in the sim see if it made it into the sim and then we'll come back and then i'll just cut out the flight time back if it's too long so anyway we got a plane that comes with some speed but it's not a turbo prop so hopefully it doesn't take too long to get out there we will just have to wait and see so here we go i have a checklist for this you can hear it paper checklist in my hand make sure the parking brake is set reset my controls make sure everything works um, fuel and passengers. I guess we'll do fuel and passengers this time. We skipped over it last time. Um, let's give ourselves a little bit more fuel just because we are going to go quite a ways away. Um, yeah, let's put in my current weight. I've gained a few pounds. I am 6'4", though, so I still blow away in the wind. Co-pilot, let's bring my best friend. What do you think she's at? I don't know. She's pretty tall, but she's pretty skinny. I don't know. Let's put her at one. 50. Um, let's bring some of our kids. Let's bring... God, what are my kids weighing now? They're getting older. They're they're well into their teens. I don't know. Are they 120? Let's bring her teenager. She has one that's a complete stick, even soaking wet. And we're going to bring some bottles of water. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Yep. Oh, crap. I hit reset. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's more like it. We're just going to close. For some reason, I thought that said save, but it doesn't. And will that actually save it? Just by closing it, it did. Okay, great. All right, let's see. Props forward, it says. Conditioner's rich. Battery and master's on. Oh, man, it's been a long time since I've done this. Battery switch is on. Alternator's on. Fuel selector's on both. There's a fuel selector in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Fuel selector. Cool. That must be on. I can't see that far. It is. Um, strobe and beacon. Oh, man. I should have practiced this a little bit. Beacon. Strobe. But as they say, though, my niches, I just get in and fly. I don't really practice. I don't have polished videos. And people like that because it makes them feel more welcome. Like, oh, I struggle too with this. So people have told me they like it that way. And that's the way I do it. Right, conditioners rich already are. Right fuel boost on. Where's that? I thought it was over here somewhere. Um, right fuel boost on. 
fuel boost right there on. That has to be it. Um, right fuel boost back to off. Throttle halfway. Right engine start. Okay, did it start? Yeah, sure feels like it. It's torquing like crazy too. So, yep, there we go. Cool. All right, throttle down to 1,000 RPM, it says. Um, all right there, okay, it's right here. So it's at 1,700. Um, close enough, there we go, just below 1,000. Check oil pressure, yep, looks good. <clears throat> Excuse me, repeat for left engine. Fuel boost on, fuel boost off, and start engine. Clear prop. That was fast. All right, um, avionics on, avionics on, pedo heat on, heater, blower, air conditioning, icing, P fuel vent, pedo heat over here, icing if needed, yeah, why not, prop sync on, um, it doesn't turn on. It says prop sync on, and it doesn't turn on. Maybe it used to in a pre-used version of the sim? I don't know. Um, press enter to continue. There we go. Cool. We don't need the engine stuff. But whatever. Okay. Have I even flown this thing before? I don't remember any of this. Anyway, turn on wind option. Oh, this is slightly different than the other one. Oh, that's right. They did some major upgrades to these. And, like, everything is modeled now, supposedly. Um, there we go. Wind. I like wind option three. That's my favorite. Um. Huh. Wow. Ooh, that's cool. Shows you your stuff in here with that. Oh, I were going to do that one. I've never seen that before. Man. Let's do that. Holy cow. Look, yeah. Oh, man, I could have so much fun with this. Oh, detail levels. We're VFR. So we just need detail level two. Because one head doesn't have an airport. No, let's keep that on so then we'll see the flight pattern come in. Okay, sorry, I'm just, this is really freaking cool. I've never done this before. I've never seen this before. Then we can do our flight time. Oh, man. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. Wow. We don't need this because we're doing, we are doing VFR, but, um, Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, anyway. Set bearing one on PDF. Well, that changed, so we're just going to do location one. Weather, let's it be for the barometer. There we go. Let's see if there is an ATIS at this. Ooh, look at that guy taking off. There has to be weather. Yes, there is. Let's listen to it. Tune this out. Let's tune ground. There we go. Oh, I fixed that now. It used to keep going until it said something else. All right, we want to request taxi uh, depart west out over the Key ocean. West ground turtle soup tango 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 four one request taxi for departure to the west with echo. Turtle soup tango 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 four one taxi two and hold short of runway two seven using taxiway alpha six alpha echo. Contact 
Taxi 2 and hold short runway, 27, via taxiway, Alpha 6 Alpha, Echo Turtle Soup, Tango Tango, Tango 4-1. Alright, Alpha 6. Alpha. We're just going to go that way. That's <laughs> what we're just going to go that way. Alrighty, let's see. What do we need to do? It says taxi lights on. So let's turn our taxi lights on. And let's do flaps down a notch. There we go. Oh, this is so cool, these upgrades. I can't believe how awesome this is. All right, taxi view it is. And let's take out parking brake and head on over there. Come on, whoa, duck, duck. Oh, I almost got your back. When people say got your back, that's not what they meant. All right, let's go this way. We're going to assume this is Alpha 6, Echo, Bravo, Zulu, Tango, Quebec, Juliet, Charlie, whatever it said here. And we're going to do a... Hurry taxi just so you get going. I checked. It said Alpha Echo. So this is Alpha. Then this little teeny tiny turn must be Echo. Alright, let's start getting those brakes going here. Whoa, let's not smash our nose into the ground. That's what happens when you've got a button. Yeah, see, that's Echo. I was right. Cool. When you've got a button instead of brakes on your feet, it's just full force all the time. You gotta be careful. Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, we'll get to the stop line and we'll call her back. Actual tune tower and stop right here. We'll set that parking brake and request takeoff. Key West Tower Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 ready at runway 27 departure to the west. Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 altimeter 29 decimal 89 wind 306 at 6. Traffic is Cessna Skyhawk on final. West departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27. Cleared for takeoff runway 27, Turtle Soup Tango, Tango Tango 41. Alrighty, I already did all the lights and everything that we're supposed to do. Let's whoop, let's set the timer right and let's go. Parking break off. And let's get around the corner here. And we will do a turn and burn GA style. Maybe. Whoa. All right, here we go. Heading to the west to look for the fort at a national park. And it is windy, just like the last flight we did. Now let's pop up. Here we get off that ground. There we go. Relax the rudders a little bit if we can. Look at that. Under the triangle. This is where that's your ball on a glass cockpit. Goodness gracious. Brakes to stop the wheels. Flaps coming in. Gear coming in. Holy Moly, I did not touch my yoke. It just did that all on its own. Crazy. Turtle soup, tango, tango, tango. Four one. Continue for west departure. Okie dokie. I will. Key West Tower. Turtle soup. Tango, tango, tango. Four one. Continue for west departure. This is our QS VFR. <laughs> not very complicated, but we got downtown over here. It is family friendly. Used to be some pretty wild stuff would happen here, but. The, gotten rid of a lot of it so it's family friendly mostly it looks absolutely hideous in the satellite view we're giving us in the sim which is too bad um, so we're not going to come back and do a more detailed look at it because it looks awful what the heck is wrong with that something's wrong with it anyway let's fight this wind here and then this is US Highway 1 going all the way back to mainland Florida Several airports in the area as well. Alrighty, so we're going to head this way towards these islands. Hopefully we can find them. We will have a pretty good cruise speed Turtle here. Tango, 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 4-1. Leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Okay. Key West Tower, Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4-1 frequency change. Alright, we're going to rely on our map for where we're headed here. Um... Oops, I did not mean to do that. I'm clicking out on something else, and I don't want to lose my, um... Oh, I'm out of the sim. There we go. Still recording? Yeah, I'm recording in a different way, so I can use my mouse outside of the sim. And, um, seems to be working okay. Alright, so we've got a long way to go. We're going to head towards this island. I can't see what I'm beginning. We're going to head towards that island. And then if we keep heading that heading, we should get to the National Park. Okay, let's go back in the sim. There we go. See how the mouse changed. And the recording should still be good. Okay, cool. 
So yeah, we're just going this way. There's some islands out here. There's that ring island, and then we're going to keep heading towards another island, which is the National Park and the Fort. This is autopilot, right? So if I set heading bug to our current heading, and I choose an altitude of, what are we at? 3,000. Let's go 5,300 feet, because we can. Do flight director. We're going to use heading bug and vertical speed of, what are we at now? Let's do 900 feet per minute, engage autopilot, and it should keep us on our heading and climbing now. So I'm hands free, so I can give you some sightseeing views as we look for these islands. Okay, so there's that big island there we're heading towards, but we're actually going further than that. There's some more islands out here that we're heading towards. So this might be a longer flight than I anticipated, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna give you some sightseeing as you fly towards this island, which is called Marquesas Keys. That's where we're headed right now. And then we'll head towards the National Park. And the only way to get there is by ferry, it looks like, in real life. Okay, so enjoy the sightseeing as I make some slight adjustments here to our navigation, and I'll see you in a little bit. And we're heading over the keys, but we can't see it because I put the airplane right over it. So let's hop outside and use the drone view and check it out. That's pretty cool, I think. I like how that looks. It's better than it did, but um, there's something funky with this part of the world. It looks awful. I feel like I'm flying in a cartoon. And this livery, it's part of the sim, but it's so cartoonish and kind of confused what happened with this latest update but um maybe i'm just having a day of complaining which i normally don't do but something's going on i do like though the touches here i think i'm like right here with all the people touching it and stuff that's pretty cool but i don't know and i really really like the changes to this this is awesome this is so cool all the new functionality and everything but the scenery outside looks weird not sure what's going on you know, if you wonder where we are, Cuba, Havana, Cuba is just over there. I was thinking we might actually fly to Havana and send it back to the Keys. We'll see how I'm feeling, see how long this takes. But anyway, if we fly directly this heading now, we should soon run into some tiny islands. Echo Romeo. Oh, Turn next that's not away. us. That's not us. Okay. Um, we will run into the dry Tortugas National Park with a fort, a big pentagon, or hexagon shaped thing, and then um, a lighthouse after that, and then we'll either go back to the Keys or just fly straight south to Havana. We'll see how I feel. Havana's quite a ways away though, but we will see. Here my mouse clicking is because I'm using Google Maps next to us because the new way I'm recording, I can. I used to crash the sim if I clicked outside with recording. So anyway, this feels like we're not even moving because what we're looking for is way out here. Um, not even on there. Oh, it might be right. Or maybe it's this because it's a national park. Maybe it's that. I don't know. But anywho, we will get there in a little bit. So I will give you some sightseeing of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as I see Cessna 1, Echo, Romeo, 
as soon as I see <laughs> the fort, I'll come back to you. So I'll see you in a little bit. I want to go, go get a drink of water. I'll be back in a little bit. So the thing we've been looking for has been spotted. I actually spotted it quite some time ago, but I confirmed by looking on our map here. So this should be our fort that we're looking for, and then um, our um, lighthouse there. Let me quickly make sure that I have my POI markers turned on. Okay, they were turned off. I think because when I fly in more dense areas, there's markers everywhere. So I turned them off. I turned them back on. Um, so let's see if it pops in here. We should get a marker for the fort here. The other thing I noticed, it was super cool, is if you do the heading thing, it tells you right here your projection. Look at that. So it's like, I want to go to the fort. You go like that. But I don't. I want to go next to the fort so you can see it. So we're actually put the heading bug right there. Isn't that so cool? Does not do it on this side though, like down here or anything. But that's so pretty cool. We've been going for 16 minutes so far, and I've just been playing with stuff and looking out the window and all that, and I think it's pretty cool. So our fort should be there, our lighthouse should be there. Let's come down in altitude significantly so that we can see what we're looking at. Let's come all the way down to 2,000 feet. Let's do vertical speed down, and then bring throttles back so we don't overspeed. Keep it right in the yellow, right where it starts. Live on the edge. And then um, we'll see if we get low enough by the time we get there. I like the new way they did it is it's just a dot until you get closer. But remember, in the olden days of this hymn, two years ago or whatever, three years ago, when it all these like um, words all over your screen all the time, it's super annoying. I'm curious, more curious to see if the lighthouse will show up. I doubt it. It says it's a photo point of interest in real life so I don't know how you get there I don't see any ferry routes but whatever I don't think we're gonna get low enough quickly enough to see it so let's increase our rate of descent to something pretty dramatic <laughs> and bring back the throttle so we don't over speed and if we bring back our speed overall that'll give us more time horizontally or laterally right let's just do that all right cool all right see you in a minute here all right, it's taken us 20 minutes to get this far, and Havana, Cuba is about 45 to 53 minutes from here. I don't know how that kind of time in real life, so we won't go to Havana. We'll go back to Key West, which was original plan anyway. And then we'll just um, enjoy the flight back. We're coming up on 2,000 feet. Hopefully that is enough to see the fort. I have a feeling it might not be, so let's come down even more. Let's get really crazy. That's not the right thing. What did I just tune? I tuned something. Let's come down to a thousand feet. Get down there quickly. So we can see this fort as we fly by. We'll probably use the drone. And then we'll look for the lighthouse as well. Yeah, here we go. Let's get the throttles back in. Barometer, everything's good. Yes, it is. There we go. Be very careful. I just love the upgrades they've done to this 
glass panel and everything and the garment stuff. There we go. We're going to miss it because of the low wing aircraft. Let's hop outside with the drone. And we'll just look at it here as we fly by with the drone. Yeah, there's the ferry boats there. So we take a ferry. Maybe you can go skinny dipping on the beach. I'm not sure. Don't know anything about this place. But there you go, Fort Jefferson. As we fly by, there you go. Stop the tape if you want to get a closer look. But we're moving on to the lighthouse already, if there is one. I'm very curious to see if it's modeled. And um, who cares for that throttle? And then we'll turn around and head home towards the airport and land. All right, do you see a lighthouse here? I don't. So maybe it'll be in the satellite imagery. Oh, let's have a there. Whoa, we want to know. Whoa, we want to know where I'm going to get to the aircraft. Uh, I don't see one modeled or anything. Let's see if we see one in the satellite imagery. Probably right here. Right where everybody, yeah, right there it is. Let's do let's do eight thousand feet this time, just so we can maybe do a little faster. Nose up. Let's get up there quickly. Eleven hundred feet per minute. Full throttle. Full everything. About twenty five minutes back or so. And we'll tune in radios as we get closer. And I'll turn off the POI labels. I'll leave you know I'll leave them on for a few flights. Maybe I'll turn them off later, but. Anywho, there's our fort right there. All right, enough rambling from me. I'm going to give you a little bit of sightseeing of water on the way back, and I'll be back with you when we tune in the radios to land back at Key West. I think we'll use the same airport. See in a little bit. All right, I was going to say you can see the mainland over here, but this isn't mainland. This is just Key West. And my cat, my tiny little cat, is in my office meowing at me, which, fine, whatever. We'll just get a little Minecraft sound, I guess, when we fly a plane. Let's head over here and bring us a little closer to... I'm listening to the island. Because we're going to... Well, still talking. So you can see the flight path or approach path here to land that Clear direction. Land runway 27, number two, Beechcraft Tree, Bravo Alpha. But I'm sure we're not going to be landing that direction. Probably from the other direction. So let's tune in now and ignore my cat and see. Um, nav key approach. Yes, let's turn in the approach. That's the same place we want. Oh, we could have done flight following. Oh, I don't know if that's new. Or if it's been around for a few versions, I just haven't used it because I haven't done any VFR flights. That would have been great to have flight following. That would be very realistic. We'll have to remember that for next time. Anyway, let's do Key West, Key West International. And let's do, we already know the weather. We'll just be on the barometer to reset it if we need to. 
Tune in the tower, request a full stop landing. Key West Tower Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 is 18 miles west 8,000 feet with echo to land. Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 Key West Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 87 wind 306 at 6. Enter left traffic runway 27. Enter left traffic runway 27 Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. Okie dokie, let's take over manually here and try to get comfortable in my chair, which for some reason I cannot get comfortable. That's kind of weird. Doesn't help I have a cat pushing on me. Also, I did have to bring back conditioners quite a bit to get to our altitude. So once I got about 5,000 feet, I had to bring back conditioners in order to um, um, climb more. Hi, kitty cat. I know I gave you some attention. What's the deal? Anywho, let's bring back throttles to descend. Because you use throttles for ascent to descent, pitch is just for speed. Bring back throttles, we should maintain our speed. I'll put conditioners in in a moment. Approach checklist. Weather barometer, we already know, she told us. Landing lights on, they should still be on from before. Gear down and flaps down too early for that. We're going to head towards the airport. Enter the pattern, which is right here. Let's bring this in a little bit. And then we'll um, land as we're told on runway 27, which is where we took off. Very simple. Looking at more of the keys out the window. And we'll have a little bit of a Key West flyby. Oh, there's someone else landing right there. Man, that cat is really loud. See the airplane right there landing. US Highway 1, which I wasn't going to fly along today, but I totally changed my mind as soon as I started recording. But yeah, the. Um, Transatlantic Highway, I think they call it, all the way back to mainland Florida. But we'll be doing more VFR in the area, just not right now. We are going to land very soon and wrap this thing up. All right, we're going to hang out around 3,000 feet or so. And um, the wind is pretty wild. I'm having a hard time flying smoothly here. But we will manage. I mean, guess my cat is still here. Actually, I lied. I wanted to go down to 2,000 feet so that we could check out the city as it renders in around us. Look at that. But yeah, the scenery, the default scenery here is just hideous. I don't know what's going on with it. I did notice when I loaded the flight, it said there were two purchase options. Which means you can buy scenery for the area. I would never spend money on the sim. I did too much spending money on X-Plane in its day. And this is real-life traffic turned on, so it's a busy airport. Look at those planes overlapping there. Real-life traffic is based on the Going schedules. So sometimes you're actually ahead of the real-life flight, because I've done that comparison, and sometimes you're behind a few minutes. But I was actually watching the real-life flights. And the sim was actually ahead. Look at those huge cruise ships. A third the width of the island. Crazy. Alrighty, time to enter the pattern here. Time to slow down probably. They'll tell us we're cleared to land very soon. We're headed right there. We want to be as realistic as we can getting there. And I think in the future I'll turn off labels for real life traffic. It's nice to have real life traffic, but the labels kind of get in the way. So we might end up turning the labels off someday. We'll see. We'll see, but not today. Today we're just going to try to land this plane. Better keep an eye on what we're doing, but it is getting windy as we get closer to the ground. Holy cow. And yes, we're a little low. I just wanted to see everything. <laughs> so let's act up outside one last time and look around at the hideous, hideous scenery for some reason. I wonder if it would be nice to live there. Or would it feel like stifling and suffocating? I don't know. I often don't think it's as luxurious as people think it is. There is another airport ahead of us, but we're not going to that one. We're going to the airport that we're flying right next to. So, let's get ready here. Let's get gear down. And we'll get flaps on in a minute. Oh, there we go. Clear to land runway 27. Cleared to land. Clear to land runway 27, Turtle Soup Tango, Tango Tango 41. First set of flaps out. 
We'll make a very steep turn. Actually, this isn't that steep. This is still standard rate. <laughs> Feels steep to me. Oh, we're stalling. Are we stalling really? Okay, that's with full flap. So why are we stalling like 20 knots or more above the tape? Now we're fine. Maybe the flaps are still coming out. Oh gosh, we're too close to the runway. What am I doing? Oh, turtle, come on. You can be better than that. I mean, we'll be fine, but that was a little bit close. Do -do -do, here we go. Keep our speed good. We have an incredibly long runway. So we'll just land and slam on the brakes. Here we go. What do we got for crosswind? Not much. Not much crosswind at all. A little bit from the right, but we'll be okay. So right wing down, left rudder. Oh my, it is windy though. It's very windy. So here it goes. Crab it a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's windy. Crab it. Smooth. Smooth. There we go. Nose wheel down gently. That was crazy wind. Just like the previous flight. It might not have looked... Oh, well, that's loud. It might not have looked all that spectacular. But based on what I was dealing with with that wind... Like, I got full left rudder right now. And it's barely going straight. Look, it still wants to pull to the right. That's with full left rudder. That's how windy it is. Because we're going, like, more than 20 knots. Let's slow down. So that the wind stops affecting us. There we go. Anyway, that was insane landing. That was so difficult with that wind. Oh my gosh. So it might not have looked the best, but it was a struggle. So I'm just glad we got it down. Okay, here we go. I exited it. Round. One two one decimal niner for turtle soup tango 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 four one. Key taxi west ground parking. turtle soup tango 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 four one taxi to parking. You know, got all the lights turtle situated. Soup, tango 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 four one taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie Alpha Alpha four. Charlie Alpha Alpha four. Taxing to general aviation parking. Via taxiway Charlie Alpha Alpha Four Turtle Soup Tango Yikes. Tango Tango Four One. Yikes! That was scary. Alrighty, so um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I did the lights. Flaps are already up. I just yeah, I was reading my checklist while she was talking to us. So there you go. Very successful sightseeing tour out to the fort and the lighthouse and back. Now we're just gonna put this thing away, and that'll wrap up. Our flight. That is a cool looking lagoon, isn't it? That's crazy. Anyway, incredibly difficult landing. Let's pay attention to what we're doing here. Jeez Louise. Very difficult landing, but we did it. We managed. We're okay. I can't believe I used to fly this sim for so many years with wind off. How boring is that? Anyway, here we go. We're just going to use this general aviation right here. We could look for the guy waiting for us over there, but I'm not worried about it. Let's just stop right here. Is that the parking brake? I think we're clear. And yeah, let's pull up a little bit, just to be less rude. And there we go. Hold on to your drinks. Oh, there we go. Parking brake is set. Let's hop inside. Um, Stop the clock. We probably should have stopped the clock when we touched the wheels down, but who cares? So about 15 minutes out and back. Very cool. Alrighty, let's see. We do all the lights, everything. Now we come down here. We do all the lights off. Just like that. Props back. There we go. Conditioners cut off. Magnetos off. Like so. All switches off. Turn off all these switches. There we go. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's kind of rude these days, isn't it? We don't say that much anymore. All right, there you go. Let's hop outside. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Whoa, my drone is sideways. All right, let's try it like this. There we go. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Very, very simple flight. I'm bummed that the scenery was horrible here, but I'm not going to purchase the local scenery. It just looks like a photograph that is way overexposed and way over sharpened. It's not the Sims' fault, though, because our previous VFR flight in England was an absolutely spectacular and I'm actually flying this the same night, so nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. 
And this looks hideous, and the last one looked amazing. Yeah, look at that one sock. No wonder why we had to struggle landing. Look at that thing. Anywho, hopefully you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. If you have a request for yourself that you would like me to fly, put it in the comments below. And I will fly it as soon as I can. IFR, VFR, doesn't matter as long as the flight time is under 90 minutes. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That's all there is to it, and I'll see you next time.